Can you hear me? Yes, Professor. Yes. Now, you see the screen. PDF. Yes or no? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> so, Children Mono, you may know up to this point, I modify the result section. Do you agree? Yes. Yes. Okay. How was your uh, uh, feeling up to this point? I try to simplify and uh, cut off redundancy as much as I can. And of course, there are several comments here, as mm -hmm. I mentioned, cited here, some, just like that. Shirley. Yes, Professor. Uh, any comment? Oh, it became very nice, Professor. Thank you very much, this streamlight. And uh, you made good point uh, in uh, interpretation of the adaptation index. You made the good connection why and why we are interpreting the adaptation index. It was it, That part was missing, actually. OK, here. Okay, adaptation in there. Okay, most important detail of median regression result shall be discussed, interpreted as, as compared to adapt norm. Because adapt in the blah, 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 blah. Okay, how adapt in the is proper, you need to claim very proper. Mm. You are repeating same argument, exactly same as adapt number without any logic. It is illogical. Do you agree? Yes, of course. Yes, All right. And the next, I was asking you to squeeze remaining part here. In total, three paragraphs. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Why? It is simply almost same as your first paper. Plus, okay, tell me your idea now. What, what is your, what do you want to argue? I ask you to shrink three paragraphs into two paragraphs. Yes, Professor, we agree for that, to shrink the, the, this three paragraphs. <clears throat> it is almost two, two. And the first paragraph, what do you, what you should argue? In the first paragraph, the summary of the all results maybe we can bring. And uh, for the next one, we can bring professor some information about the external validity of the research and plus by, by the way by the way this part bit sloppy in the sense that uh, you say like a small farms and then large farm but to be honest with you our results simply say okay as compared to large large and medium size farms small size are sensitive that's all. Yes. You keep saying small and large only. This is unrigorous. Do you understand? Mm. Modify it. And plus, the way how you interpret appear to be a bit cheap in the sense that uh, you are saying small farm adapt only when CPI is high or water availability is high. That's what you keep saying. Is that so? Uh, yes, I was keeping that. To be honest with you, based on my understanding, what might be most interesting as a possible interpretation is, okay, here, change this CPI in there. You should include the text here. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? 
Do you understand? Text. Yeah. Yeah. No, not the equation. Just simply uh, plain, plain text. Uh, that's right. Mm. So from this graph, what we should say? One of the important message out of this interaction term is small firm might be might not be adaptable or susceptible or fragile against climate change through a decline of or through an inability to adapt to the climate change, especially when their perception is poor, especially water availability is poor. Do you agree? Yes. You didn't claim like that everywhere, no? Mm. Okay, you said you might have summarized, totally rewritten. Okay, mm. what you need to argue here is summary, that's what you say, but based on what I rewrite, okay? Yes, Yes. Okay.
I see. Children, now you are looking at the uh, Google Doc here. Mm. Can you see here? Yes. Yes, please. This one, I don't think I insert this one into the latest PDF. Is that so? Did you did I include this one? Yes, Professor. It's included. Was it included? Yes, it is included. Okay. So what I want to say here, this is interpretation of graph, yeah? Mm -hmm. And what I want to say most is here. Okay, Moino, if possible, please read. Can you see? Yeah, it's too small, but yeah, I can still read. Small size, small size farms in Tajikistan are vulnerable to or fragile against climate change through a decline in adaptation, especially when they have neither proper climate perception nor sufficient water availability. This is something figure this one. Mm -hmm. Children, yes, please. I think I didn't properly replace what I wrote here. You you replaced professor, but uh, I think you opened the previous version of the PDF. It is included in Emacs file. In Latex. Oh, I see, I see. Then this is fine. But what I, do you understand? What I want to say? Yes, professor. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think it's clear. Okay. Bit strange. Okay. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, I was a bit sloppy. Now. Okay. Shifting. Could you share latest PDF from your side? Yes, sir. This is. Um, Windows. Uh, I'm connected through Windows, Professor. Still, you can do it. You let cannot me, do it? Let, I can do it, I think. Let me download it from Dropbox. Okay, children. If it takes time, I will share one more time. Just a second. Okay. Mm. Now, can you see? You see the screen? No. Not yet. Not shared. Screen is not shared. No, no professor. Okay. Why? I find it. Can I share, professor? Yeah, please share. Very strange. All right. Go to the we summarize part. We summarize part. Okay. Go, go, go. Okay, le interaction, 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 interaction part. Could you zoom up a little bit more? You can do. 
。ズーム。ズーム、レルベイモーズ。あー、カーストップ。いやいやいや、オーケーオーケー。オーライライライ。That's right. Go down, レルバイレル。Yes. So, what you show in the figure 5A and 5B is predicted median adapt index. Okay? Fundamental l y change. This、mm. is based on the median regression, no? Yes, please. Okay, next, go. Go down. Okay, after this, we summarize. Yeah? Okay. What might be the main point, shielding, if you want to summarize the estimation result? Itemize the point. What do you need to say? Given what I said. Okay? Please read again what Moinul has read. Right, stop. What Moinul le has read, please read one more time, just for your own learning. Yeah, it is. Okay, stop, stop. Go down, go down, go down, go down. It is the, in the first paragraph of the adaptation index, Professor, I think. Second, go down, go down. Next paragraph. Stop, stop. All right. No, 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 no. go down, go down. Go down. Go down. Yeah. yeah. One more paragraph down. Here, I simply explain mathematically how interaction、mm. term a f f e c t Okay? Next、mm. paragraph is more important. Yes, then.、Ah, here, 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 here. Okay. Okay. Plus, stop. Predicted median adapt in the is not sensitive to CPIND for each of median, median large firm size being practically flat. Likewise, same tendency for the predicted median APRO found across the Yes, okay, so what, what you didn't write is very simple large and medium size farms insensitive. On the other hand, small size farm sensitive to IWA and CPIND. Do you agree? Yes, Professor. This is what you need to say. And what you can interpret out of this is small size farm, okay, maybe fragile due to inability or something else. Somehow, small size farm do not adapt to the climate change when they have poor perception. Or poor IWA. That's how you need to say, I think. Yes. All right.、Mm. Okay, go down. And of course, this paragraph, we summarize, blah, blah, blah. Please, please focus on the paragraph that starts with we summarize.、Mm. 397. Given what I said, given Moinul has read, including these points, definitely, in a brief manner at least. With how you might need to summarize the result. You should not, okay? 
simply summarize regression estimation result only. You should summarize all the results in this paragraph. Tell me. Yes. I am asking, at least you need to incorporate sensitive, insensitive issue. And then because small size firms are sensitive to CPIND and IWA, how you can really say this is implying small size firm is fragile or might be vulnerable or do not possess ability to adapt when they have poor perception when they have poor IWA. I understand, Professor. Yeah, then tell me main point of uh, summary of the result in this research. Items. Professor, I, I understand that we need to say about the uh, small size farms, how they're vulnerable for the climate uh, climate perception and water availability. And in the same time, we have to say something about the uh, <clears throat> ability of the large farms, how they are able, how they are managing uh, with climate perception, uh, climate change. I think we need to say that part, that part also. Then regarding the <clears throat> small size farms, bringing that, uh, you brought that uh, terminology, vulnerable, this is very important and interesting, Professor. Vulnerable or fragile. Uh, fragile, yes. Fragile, due to inability or due to, due to what? Decline in adaptation. When they have poor climate perception, or when they have poor IWA. Yes. Okay. Moino. Yes. What, ma, what Shirudin should write in this paragraph as a main point, given what I said, given what you read? Yes, I think so, so here it is a summary part. So we need to itemize. So the main point that we have identified and certainly so the comparison Moino, just why. Shikari. She's gonna stay. No. Mama, she's gonna stay. All right, go ahead. Yeah, why basically the small farms compared to the large scale farms and the medium level farms, why they are incapable and why they are fragile when they have low perception and they have a uh, low IWA. So in that case, so we need to make a clear contrast between the these two categories based okay. upon mm -hmm. Okay, I told you, okay? Not only regression result, all the other part, okay? You should summarize. This paragraph, okay? I am recording, I will share later, but if I were you, okay? I will start writing, okay? Mm -hmm. Through the uh, summary statistics, box plot, huh? Huh? What, what did we include? In a box plot, we have included. Including summary statistics, box plot. And regression result. Farm sites consider to be a key variable to characterize adaptation. And you need to say, as you have written already, adapt on them, adapt in there both regression, okay, appear to be consistent with one another. Is that, is that true? Yes. yes. And if in particular, okay, small size farm appear to be different in terms of adaptation as compared to medium and large size farms. And you should start to argue culture Okay. Sorry. Farming culture and history. Why? Large and medium farm size. Insensitive for adaptation. 
you know, in uh, why their adaptations are insensitive to CPIND and IWA in relation to Tajikistan farming culture and history. That's what you need to argue. After that, okay, you need to uh, create argument why small size farmer in Tajikistan are sensitive or fragile, vulnerable to or against climate change through a decline in adaptation or inability to adapt when they have CPI, low, poor CPIND or poor IWA. Considering farming culture and history. Children, yes. current summary, do you think you argue enough? Why small size farm? They may be considered more fragile than medium and large farm size. Considering farming culture and history. No, we didn't include for the current summary. Which I didn't like. Yes. This is really important point to make this paper interesting. So, 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 I think here, so the way that Hustle did write this summary is very mechanical, but the way you explain is more artist, artistic. So I think that artistic part and the, the main message, so the way you presented that is missing part. So I think it is a very good inclusion. We should include it in a artistic way, not only the mechanical way. Okay, shielding. Thank you, shielding. So, what is the reason behind? But this is a mirror image. Why large and medium farm size, medium size farm, are insensitive, irrespective of CPI and irrespective of IWA. Why they are capable of taking adaptation? You already explained that to me, probably. But now you need to argue as a mirror image or bringing another argument from somewhere. Why Tajikistan small size farm lose the capability to adapt? Especially when they do not have good perception or why they, when they do not have a good IWA. What is the reason? First is, Professor, the uh, economic situation. They, uh, okay, you need to uh, explain holding other factor fixed. Economic factors are controlled in a regression. Yes. This is related to the farming culture and history. If we uh, explain it for the farmers, huge farmers, the large and medium farms, uh, they was uh, doing it for a long period as the culture, as a tradition of the agriculture. The small size farms, they received the land uh, recently. Not all of them are farmers, true farmers. That's why... Uh, By the way, you already controlled the year of farming experience in an independent variable as well. Keep it in your mind. I need to think a little bit more, Professor. Okay. Shirden, based on what you said before, my advice is as follows. Small size farm, irrespective of year of farming experience, they became newly small size farm receiving land. Do you understand? Yes. They may be conducting farming before they become small size farm, yeah? And because Tajikistan traditionally due to coal holes and soft holes, they are accustomed to how to adapt in a large size or medium size farming. However, those who are newly allocated to small size farm land, they are not enough accumulating. Okay, please use this word and understand.
Did you see chat? Mm -hmm. oh, no. Yes. Please see what I wrote in chat. Yeah. They may not uh, possess embodied knowledge, skills, and abilities to adapt under farm size, under farms. Sorry, uh, under small size of farms. Sorry. Small size farming. Okay. Mona, please yes. explain. What does it mean by embodied? Uh huh. Okay. So, yes, embodied is something that is already built in in their uh, daily behavior. Probably. So, their ability is, is more about their ability that they receive sometimes even even like genetically probably that is come from the ancestor the previous generation so in so, a way those farmers mm -hmm. they get uh, recently the lands mm -hmm. so probably they are not genetically in the farming culture probably <laughs> Gen genetics may be too much but, but culturally yes. culturally mm -hmm. and historically under the small size farming mm -hmm. They do not possess enough embodied knowledge, embodied mm -hmm. skill, embodied ability to adapt. Climate is changing. Mm -hmm. However, under the small size farming, they do not know. Nobody teach. Okay, somebody teach for small size farming. This is a way how to adapt in Tajikistan. No, yes. Just like that. Bit think about based on what you told me. Okay, in front of me, sometimes Ukraine. Okay, why large size farm advantageous in Tajikistan? And you said water availability, capacity, and moreover, due to cold holes and so forth. Okay, uh, they know. Embodied knowledge, skill, and ability under large or medium size farm. You can say so, yeah? Yes, of course. And land fragmentation occurs. Some people suddenly they became individual owner. And even though you become owner, whether you have expertise to manage agriculture in small size farm or not. If nobody give proper instruction, everybody get lost. Isn't that true? Hundred percent true, professor. And bringing some event or cultural issue, okay? Please argue like that, okay? What you need to say here, okay? Not only regression result, summary statistics, box oh, plot, oh, oh. and then regression result, consistently show. Farm size matter for characterizing adaptation through studying adapt num, adapt in the. And how? Okay, regression result. In reality, large and medium farm size farm appear to be advantageous in adaptation, while small size farm may not be so advantageous. Anyway, use sophisticated word for that. How advantageous, how it is not advantageous. Okay, interaction term and associated graph clearly show large size farm, medium size farm, insensitive to CPIND, IWA. In other words, irrespective of CPIND and IWA, okay, they can stably take adaptation. On the other hand, small size farm, I express it is insensitive, uh, no, it is sensitive, fragile. Okay. Or even vulnerable against climate change or to climate change, especially when they do not have enough IWA, they do not have nice climate perception. Okay? Why this is so? And never forget bringing farming culture and history for the argument. Why large and medium farm sites, they are insensitive, stably taking. Adaptation. On the other hand, why small size farm? They may be fragile. Is that clear? All right. Next paragraph. Let's go. Now, 
Tajikistan has been practicing this part, yeah? Mm. Moino, given yes. what we discuss, this is this final paragraph in the result section. Mm -hmm. Moino, do you have any advice to Fushiro? What he should write? Tell me as clear as possible. Yes, I think so. Professor, we had a bit chat about like what might be the possible way to improve this paragraph and margin. So one thing is, of course, that uh, external validity, it should be one of the important part. So I think so this last paragraph should be a nice combination between the external validity and possible policy recommendation for the countries which have the similar condition like Tajikistan. So what kind of... Uh, what kind of adaptation they should take right in the in the future so in the policy part we should discuss clearly yeah i, I think yes yeah, since so yeah i i forget actually so what we clearly discussed earlier so maybe who said might include so what was the main point we was talking about about this last paragraph Okay, you, you keep saying the... policy Im implication, but what as clear as possible means, do you remember? Implication and policy implication, how he should follow. Suppose you are supervisor for children, mm -hmm. how he should write this paragraph? Yes, I think this is one of the most crucial paragraph. And here we need to say something very uh, what did I say to you guys repeatedly when you bring implication or policy implication? No idea, should it, uh, Moino? No, professor, so first of all, so, so Tajikistan is a, like their agriculture structure is irrigation based agriculture. So I think we need to clearly state that part. So the in the context of the this irrigation based agriculture, so for the adaptation, I think history and culture, so play an important role. I think the findings should be more no, focused. No. If you argue like that, it mm -hmm. shall be redundant with previous paragraph. Already he will write farming culture and history for arguing medium and large size farm, why they are insensitive and capable for adaptation. Mm -hmm. Okay, time is out, sorry. Shirding, what do you want yes. to argue in this final paragraph? As a first author, sincerely tell me. As an implication, what you want to convey, I assume you deeply think about it. Don't say something shallow. The first implication is, Professor, uh, consolidation of the land we can propose. And the second one, uh, In uh, the last paragraph, for some in summary, we will discuss about uh, farming, farming culture and history, and there we can tell a little bit about uh, in on that period uh, during the Kolkhoz and Sokhoz period, the all farmers they was instructed, they was told by the government how they should do, and the current situation the. Uh, Small size farms, they're how to say, uh, go out of the control. Oh. If government cannot teach them, is not able to teach them to uh, direct them how to uh, manage the farms. We can include some uh, recommendation regarding uh, providing the supports for the small size farms. 
improving uh, water availability and uh -huh. also uh, subsidy climate perception yeah. is important, Professor. Okay, guys. Okay, please record again. I was asking you guys to bring A, B, C for sliding implication. And a final paragraph. You should start arguing B. In that sense, okay. Fushilde may be good. At least you brought the terminology, land fragmentation, growing worldwide problem. Actually, land fragmentation is growing worldwide trend, I think. Do you understand? Yes. And we don't need to argue about A anymore. Because previous paragraph, you already summarized A. What is A? Moiner, do you understand? A, B, and C. Yes, yes of course, sir. If you are supervisor for Shilding, mm -hmm. how you want to instruct him, starting from land fragmentation? OK. So first, show the general trend of the current land fragmentation that worldwide it is happening. And many uh, policy recommenders are suggesting across across the board that land fragmentation might be a good adaptation practice. However, we clearly identify that for the agricultural system like Tajikistan, where the, it is irrigation-based agriculture, land consolidation might be better choice compared to the land fragmentation. So in that case, so I think we can bring the context that policy maker should be sincerely take the choice based on the country's uh, agriculture and history and culture should be the important decision maker, whether the country will go for the land fragmentation or land consolidation as a process of adaptation. Simultaneously, they should also pay attention on the different scale of farmers, small, medium, and large scale farmers. It might not be very wise to just providing the same policy for all different level of uh, farming practices or farming uh, people, stakeholders. Okay. Thank you. So up to the middle, what I'm going to advise is similar to what Moinul say. Okay, land fragmentation is growing uh, worldwide trend. And many international organizations advise many society and country to follow land fragmentation. And some document summarize, it is beneficial, beneficial as well as increasing adaptation cap capability, something like that. That's why, People are recommended. Is that so, Moino? Yes. Yes. Shirdin, is that so? Yes, in some countries. Yes, please. Okay. This is what you can argue. However, please bring general statement. In general. Okay. In economics and management, it is not clear cut. Large size, small size, which is better for profit, which is better for adaptation capabilities, bringing general economics, general management. Moino, do you remember what I, have, what I was advising of Shilding in the literature review, what he should include? Uh, which part? I cannot quickly recall. Can you give me a hint, Sensei? I, I told him, even outside of agriculture, even industrial organization, oh, yes, yes. size, which is better, it is inconclusive. That's yes. why you need to argue. Yes. Okay? Right. right depending right. on the type of industry, depending mm -hmm. on the type of management, depending on the culture and history, large size farms, farm means, not farms, farm, F-I-R-N. Do you understand? Yes. It is inconclusive. You can bring that literature. Okay? 
Okay. And in these papers, okay, B is land fragmentation, believing that, okay, in agriculture, land fragmentation is ongoing. However, okay, given this, okay, research result, okay, we get conclusion that in case of Tajikistan, okay, land consolidation might be recommended. And as Moinul set can be said, okay? So compared to that, okay, uh, what we can say out of this paper, uh, policy implication, to increase the adaptation in your country, practically, simply land consolidation, or land consolidation is impossible, small-sized farm should get proper instruction to improve Moino, please, please proceed. Yes, so land, uh, small size farms capabilities so, should suppose be Suppose land fragmentation, uh, no, land consolidation is clear cut policy suggestion uniformly, yeah? Yes, but in Tajikistan. Land state. consolidation may not be so easy because it goes against large scale national policy in Tajikistan right now. That's right. It, Land consolidation is impossible. Next, what we should do as a next component. Uh, okay, so next point we should bring like how to support this currently existing small size farmers to adapt within the changing climate over the period of time. And in that context, we, we need to say that. So we clearly notice that land of uh, small size farmers are more fragile compared to the medium and the large. No need, farmer. no need that argument. It is okay. repetition. Okay, in that context, concretely, what? Small size farmer need to get instructed. What kind of instruction they need to get? They need to get to increase the capability for adaptation. Yes, I think so. The small scale farmers should receive the subsidy from the government to. No, be... you need to say based on the estimation result. Yes, Do we discuss in estimation subsidy? No, no, no. We didn't discuss. Shirdi, yes. you can say. Okay. To improve their perceptions and uh, government also should provide irrigation water availability. Good. Especially for? Small size farmers. farmers. Okay, given this result, which farm should be prioritized to have enough IWA? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Large or large and medium size or small size farm? Which farm should be prioritized to increase overall national adaptation capability in your country? Small size farms. That's right. Priority should be given to small size farm when total availability or total water availability is limited. Do you understand? Uh, yes. Because, okay. You can say medium, large size farm, they are, this argument come from the fact that, okay, Shirley, please go. Yes, this argument come from the, our result that uh, large farms and medium farms, they are adapting even if they have less water availability. Or you can say because they are insensitive. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Now you get it. Moino, yes. do you get it? Yes, I think the, the argument is very clear now. So subsidy. Do we argue subsidy in this? No, 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 no. We didn't argue. We didn't argue. But yeah, just as a policy recommendation. So for for instance, so like since even Tajikistan's case. So but but it it might be out of context in in a way. But uh, the large small scale farmers, why they are adapting in the case of the Nepal and Bangladesh? Because so the government subsidy is basically targeted to the small scale farmers marginal farmers. Tajikistan's case, I think they don't have that kind of uh, government policy so far. They are basically fo following the, the previous way. So they didn't really prioritize to provide the extra to the small scale farmers. So in the way, there are some gap, I guess. So that's that part we might say that clearly. Of course, you already bring that context maybe for the irrigation water availability. If the water is limited, certainly the low, small scale farms should be prioritized simultaneously. So we can also be argue that government subsidy also should be targeted.
to the small scale farmers to increase their capability to the adaptation. But I don't know whether we should really push that part or we can just ignore that part. No, if you are intelligent man, do you think it is making sense for us to include? I, I think for, from, from my standpoint, it, it makes sense to include because there are some already some uh, evident over there, the other countries. By the way, I told you, okay? Policy implications should be based on our estimation results of course, or of statistical course, results. Yeah, in the way, in the way. So I think okay. we shouldn't. You are shouldn't. bringing something from outside. This paper, nothing is argued with respect to subsidy. No, should no, no. Do we discuss uh, subsidy? Subsidy? No, no professor. I do not discuss. Bueno, be careful. Right. So, so, sometimes for the discussion part so like for the b b is also we didn't discuss anything about the b in the paper but we bring the the context of the b from the outside to sell the paper in a better way so some argument can come from the outside as well you are saying subsidy should be brought as well no i think it can be one option i'm not saying that certainly it should become but who's new they might be in a position to think that whether it is important for his country or not. So to subsidize the small scale farmers for the adaptation. As I mentioned, okay. Do we discuss subsidy in the paper? Think about it. In the paper, I, I don't think that we discuss anywhere. Think about priority. For instance, Shirley, subsidy, is this something your country, your government can easily give? And in the context of what we did, The current situation, Professor, government is not providing subsidy as the Bangladesh doing. Professor Moinuz is saying that in other countries there is the practice, but in Tajikistan, the, the farmers is not receiving because the government also is not able to provide that subsidy. No, I am asking, giving subsidy is possible? It is difficult. In the end, shielding, you are the one who need to judge, okay? And another problem here is subsidy. Is this sustainable policy? Yes or no? Mono. Subsidy, do you think it is a sustainable policy for small size farm? Yeah, but since there is no better alternative to, to that, although it is not sustainable, but the developing country, they are doing practicing it for a long time, 20 years, 30 years, even longer, to make their farmings to go on. Because if the small scale farmer suddenly uh, like collapse or suddenly disappear, maybe the country will face a huge shock more than that subsidy. So maybe that the trade-off might be huge. So if, but sometimes like in case of the Bangladesh, so the, the subsidy sometimes doesn't come directly just giving them the cash subsidy. So for example, since say the, our case, I think this might be basically not really related with this paper, but why I'm saying as an example, so a fertilizer, right, for the agriculture. So farmers in Bangladesh can buy the fertilizer maybe like less than 50% what is the market price. And that's why, so they can produce lots of crop. So in the way, the country can now, they're saying that we are like a full, fully equipped with the agricultural product like rice. We have enough rice. It is basically come from this kind of subsidies outcome. So in a way, so this is bit government choice. So in which sector they should subsidize to get a better return. 
But again, you know, okay, you are talking about input subsidy or something, some subsidy. Yes, yes, yes. That's and right. how yeah. does it relate to adaptations? Adaptation is okay. As shielding, right? Thirty-six adaptation. Yes, I think so. Yeah, very good. Okay. Nice. And then once we start saying like uh, input and output, uh, we will be asked by referee, why don't oh. you use production profit yeah. maximization yeah, I, approach I rather than adaptation? That's, that's why I'm not saying I'm not suggesting. I'm just giving that like a, some example. So what other countries are doing in that regard? Shirdi. Yes. Do you understand what I was suggesting? In in short paper, professor, we in any case we will suggest uh, subsidy. That's fine. That's third paper. I agree. However, this is the second paper. I am asking you whether you are understanding what I said for the final paragraph in the result section. Yes, professor. Okay. Do you have any other things you may want to say? Last two paragraphs in the result sections. Yes, in, in last part of this uh, final paragraph, Professor, uh, we are discussing, we are bringing two uh, examples like how land consolidation can be implemented. What is it? Is, One example is? No, two, two figures we brought here, Professor. One is merging and later if possible, making more bigger. Is it? Uh, you said two examples. What is one? Not you example, two examples of bringing land consolidation in your country. What is one? Uh, professor, just two examples by figures I was showing that uh, it can be created okay, in this. Okay, go to the figure, go to the figure. So this, that, this is the first proposal. Yes. For In first option, the farm size is not too big, but in the second, is a little bit more bigger. I, I just want to ask Professor that uh, bringing only one example is enough or we should keep it as it is, Professor? What is the logic bringing to? Okay, these figure A and B, are they a separate idea or it is, it is just a stepwise idea? Just... Stepwise, Professor, it's not it's almost similar. This is just example. No, you should bring. You can really demonstrate how you are knowledgeable about Tajikistan land. Mm -hmm. And this is why you suggest as the best possible practice for Tajikistan, yeah, for land consolidation. Yes. yes. Okay, you don't need to write long sentences. However, please logically argue. This is one possible best practical resolution for the land consolidation from land fragmentation problem in Tajikistan. Is that what you say? Yes. Okay. By the way, I told you guys, Please consider proper caption. Moino, please suggest better caption than current one. <clears throat> yes, I'm really cur current one is not good. So. This is just a proposal, right, Husnuddin? So I think that the word proposed is a bit cheap here to use. Can we uh, say something, scenarios? Okay, for instance, this one, okay, uh, figure 6A, this one, 6. 6A. Mm. Uh -huh. 6A. What is the logic to divide the land like that by yellow line? What this is, you are suggesting what? Yellow line, yeah. yellow line is something. This is the professor. Here the line. is yellow. Yellow line is the farm size, and this small one is the current situation, professor. 
And this then why you propose is that represented by yellow yellow boundary. Farm you, size. What is your idea? Proposed farm size means that's what you suggest for for the path to the land consolidation. Okay, mm -hmm. tell me, I understand current situation. Next, I am I want to know what you suggest. What you suggest is yellow one, yellow boundary, you no? Know? Yes, boss. What is the yellow boundary behind? with red? Red one is the plot sizes. This plot sizes was this red one. It is Pro the former plot size during the uh, call house. The plot size was this red one. Oh, I see. Okay. So combination of red one and the yellow one is your proposal. Yes, boss. Then explain simple logic to me and to Moino. Mono, do you do you understand the logic for proposed red red and yellow? No, it is not uh, totally clear to me. But okay. I, yeah. So please, Shirley, Shirley, first, please explain. What is the logic? At the, the first stage, professor, when we go for the land fragmentation, or merge several farmers by creating enterprise. It will not be easy to uh, create enterprise in the coal house levels, for example, 6,000 hectares or 4,000 hectares. Oh. Here is 120 hectares, this area. This plot is 120 hectares. In this 120 hectares, in, at the beginning stage, we can create at least five farmers, five, six farmers, five, six the enterprise, community-based management, uh, some organization. Okay, Shirdi. Then can we say figure six A somehow you propose plot size, farm size that are most consider most appropriate for community based agriculture consisting of five to six farms. Farmers, is that what you are saying? Yes. As a middle step. Yes. Moino, how can we say middle step? Please short. paraphrase middle step. Intermediate short, step. Short, step short, short run or yes. Yeah, so, so short run, not good. Not good. Uh huh. Okay. Preparation, preparatory stage, preparatory. How about it? Or preliminary, preliminary. But anyway, this is the first step, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and, okay, go to the five, uh, no, six B. Then, this then is the final in... form of your suggestion. So this yes, is it... not community-based. This is what, what is it? No, this is also community-based, Professor. Uh -huh. uh, after merging the... For example, 100 farmers to five. Later, we can merge that five into one later. Okay. So, based on your idea, one farm, how many farmer? Here, I don't know in reality how many farmers. If they have five plots, here it should be more than 20, 30 farmers. <clears throat> I think it is better to bring a concrete number because if you say community based mm -hmm. and community based agriculture, community based forest management, I think in Bangladesh or in Nepal or whatever, uh, I think some community based agriculture is common. But Moino, do you know some Bangladesh community based for forestry management? There are several papers actually. Yes, at least I know some agricultural practice, some community based cooperative. They, they make the cooperative to make this is the same concept of the consolidation but over there so there are like 100 farmers but they don't have enough capital to buying the things like a tractor or something then they make a cooperative together and then they make their land bigger that was Newton is proposing yeah there are some good examples in so so we call it like a cooperative farming but do they see as a profit as well yes of course of course. I see. 
because sometimes like just for the small one small farm it is very costly to buy one tractor or like large scale like a devices even they cannot move the land is so small so in the way so they go for the cooperative and that is also since the main con main uh, concept for the that micro credit like an institution they also do so they're trying to make some kind of cooperative but anyway so that's a different story so how we can nicely make the wording here that's important so the way you explain here the number might be a very good things to mention and then probably proper caption mm -hmm. first proposed the farm size and second may not be properly expressing what you want to say mm -hmm. first step i don't know preliminary preparatory Mm -hmm. Intermediate step, final yeah, step. Yeah, I think A can be the intermediate and B can be the final. And then you are suggesting not only farm size, yeah, farm, no, plot, Pro also. The plot size as well. Be yes. clear. What you are suggesting is a combination of plot size and a farm size. And farm size. Okay. And then choose the proper name. And for this suggestion, two sentence is enough. Mm -hmm. And why you suggest like that? Okay, drastic change is always dangerous in land policy, land use policy. You can say so. No? Yes, first. Drastic change is always bringing social turmoil in a country. That's mm -hmm. right. So if it is making sense to take pre Intermediate, intermediate step and a final step. Final step. Okay. Mm -hmm. How about why don't you write intermediate step, final step? Moino, do you have, do you have any other better idea? No, so intermediate far, step? At, at, the, at this point of time, I think the intermediate and the final sounds good because now they already have this one structure and then gradually they can go for the first the intermediate step A and then the final step B. So I think we can use the terminology like that. But uh, right. yes, Hosnir, then maybe so it is good to bring the number of farmers here. I think that should be very useful, I guess. You say you can say like one farm now, 50 to 100 community based. Maybe one farm might be consisting of maybe five to six. That's what you say. Well, you can hmm. adjust the number based on what you think, right? Is it doable? Yes, of course. Okay. Approximation might be possible, I guess. Okay. Shirdin, any other things? Now, I want to really <laughs> modify the captions. And then you are suggesting first propose farm size, but please change the caption. This is suggesting farm plot size and farm size. Mm -hmm. Intermediate, final step. Is that okay? Yes. Very carefully think about proper name for the caption. That's it. Any other, any other things you may want to ask me? Oh, oh no, it's fine. And based on after revising this paragraphs, also we need I need to improve that uh, conclusion part. Also, conclusion is okay. Uh, what I probably what you didn't discuss much is okay. Uh, you didn't beautifully interpret uh interaction term. Okay, sensitive, insensitive, fragile uh insensitive okay and you didn't really clearly link what you get as a result of interaction term okay out of it we can get nice policy implication which you didn't discuss enough which i didn't like now you realize is that okay all right mm -hmm. Moino, any other thing? No, I think this is just like the time time frame, like within which time we might be able to complete. So these are steps and probably so one concern here is that so Husnuddin might be a bit incompatible. So once he's entered in the operational stage, right? So it's a bit time framing. So when we can choose the submission decision or something. If uh, Shirudin cannot complete 
revisions or I cannot give you return very quickly, uh, please uh, uh, take over, Moino, submission stage or finali finalization stage oh, with me. Yeah, submission stage, no problem. Since we and can then submit. remaining is only four paragraphs, no? Mm, that's right. Yeah, but Susan is working very hard to finish at least so before he go to the operation. So I think so. We will closely work since uh, within in, in this remaining golden egg days to fulfill this target. So yeah, so of course, so you are also in Tokyo. So maybe it's of course with your family, but I think so. Why don't we bit? Yeah, finish this one with priority. Only concern is four paragraphs. No? Four paragraphs, that's right. I understand. Okay. I say everything I want to say. Yeah. I think so, so the discussion is very clear. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, sir. All right. Let's do our best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will share, by the way, what's recorded. Okay. We are now recording. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.